You guys probably can't see that, but their legs are moving. I can't get the camera any closer. Oh, there. You see, you see his little legs moving there? I think they're just in shock. I think they're in like a cold shock. So we got the heater going in there now. We know this ritual now, don't we? Oh my goodness, it is warm and dusty, so dusty. This truck, I need to like do a super clean on this truck. One of the things I have to do, I have to buff this whole truck because a few years ago, Mrs. Martian decided to paint close to my truck and got overspray all over it. And you can't really tell because, you know, my truck's so dirty. But I wanna get my nice black, beautiful truck back. And uh, after, I, after I'm done with this job here, because there's no point in cleaning right now, it's so dusty out here. As soon as I clean it, it'd just be a dust magnet. But after I'm done, I think a nice buff job. Had to go into town, risk a zombie apocalypse attack. Get some goodies here. One of the things I got is a sprinkler because this is just taking so much longer than what I expected, what I wanted. Garden and greenhouse are fine because they can be watered in a relatively quick period of time. But out here with the orchard, there's no way to water it quickly. So I am hopeful that today or tomorrow I will be able to get all the irrigation set up. But since I'm going so slow, since things are taking, well, I'm not really slow. I'm actually moving really fast. I don't want to say that. Hey, give yourself credit where credit's due. I'm moving like grease lightning, baby, but uh, I'm not going fast enough. I need super grease lightning and I don't have that speed. So uh, things are just taking longer than expected. So I'm gonna get this thing set up and just get some water going on these trees. We've watered them two days in a row. I'm gonna get water going today. And while I work, they'll get watered. That's a long way to say I'm gonna put a sprinkler out. Here we go, hot, dirty, fun. No, yeah, dirty. Love it. You gotta love it to do it, baby. Little table here. This is the control wire for me moving up the hill further. Take three. This is the control wire, 13 strand, direct berry, purpose built, totally awesome all the time. First, let's just put the disclaimer, I'm not an electrician, so, don't do anything I'm doing unless you know what you're doing or decide to take the risk of whatever may happen. You're on your own. Uh, that said, I'm not stupid and I've done this before. So, uh, I know there'll be people tell me all the different ways that I can do it. That's cool. I encourage you all to share your ideas in the comments because that's what the comments are for on this channel. Is so that all you people that know more than I do can share your knowledge and wisdom 
with uh, those of us that are less fortunate and don't know as much as you do. I mean that, I'm being sincere. It might sound like I'm being flippant, but I'm not. I don't really need to attach all these, but I'm going to. And the reason why is the ditch is open. We only want to do this once. We don't, you might get yourself in a situation I have found like with my sprinkler system where uh, a varmint gets in and maybe choose a wire or somehow it shorts, you know, some, there's usually it's a varmint. Uh, you could, if you cut through it, but you would you definitely want something like that to cut through one of these. Uh, you could though. I'd say varmints and cutting. That would be the two most popular ways that you could uh, screw this up. And then you, you want extra wire so that you can, you know, uh, bounce over to another color. Now I have to dig up everything because digging up stuff sucks. Where you at, bandit? Why is he recording? You go fall in the creek or something? What? It looks like trouble. Don't bring your wetness on me, buddy. I'm busy here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Must have chased a critter. There you go, yeah. Get that dirt. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's the stuff right there, man. You're making me jealous. Not hurting for anything right now in life, he says. You're dirty. It took us a few days, but we're finally back where we started. Uh, the troubleshooting is over, of course, and now we have wire in the ground for all the stations. I just got done wiring this guy up. As you can see, I have my stuff all laid out here still. And now I'm going to run down to the control station, which is way over there. And I'm going to hit go on one of these things. And hopefully, it all works. We'll find out here shortly. We have water. Nice. So just see an abundance. Check this out. Just walking in the field. You know what that is? Those are right there. See them? Those are wild strawberries. They grow everywhere here. Let's try it. It's not bad. Uh, wasn't too too sour. Could have probably ripened just a little bit longer. That means the bears are gonna be out. Bears. Watch out for the bears. The berries are out, so the bears aren't far behind. That's it. We did it. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, but as far as the wiring and everything is all set. It's set up just right. Things working. This is going to turn off by itself here. We'll make sure that happens. Uh, now it's just a, and everything else is wired in the box that you're literally standing right on top of. We got to go over there. Uh, all the wire is in the ground. It's not covered up yet. I will not cover it up until we get the other control box in. So I'm going to pack up my tool here this evening. It is Friday. Uh, for us, uh, the end of May, happy Friday to everybody. Whenever you see this video, just think happy Friday thoughts because that's where we always want to be is happy Friday. So I'm going to go up. We're going to have happy Friday, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow when we pick up everything and uh, keep going.